Good morning, I'm Sheldon Cooper. Thank you for taking the time to hear my proposal. I have some handouts. I, I'm sorry, who are you? Well, I'm Sheldon Cooper. I'm here to pitch my idea for a grant computer database. How old are you? When you hear my presentation, I believe you'll realize my age is irrelevant. So, there's no adult with you? Well, my mom drove me here, but I told her to wait in the car. How long does it take to grow a mustache? Hello? Yes, I have Sheldon Cooper calling from Mr. Jennings. Yes, we'll hold. Hello, Mr. Jennings. Mr. Cooper here. Yes, I know we have an appointment for tomorrow, but I thought, why wait to do this face-to-face -face when we could do it over the phone? Ha-ha. Well, it's just that there's been so much interest in the grant database, I wanted to make sure that you got a chance to hear it first. Excellent. Good morning. Hey, George. Hey. Good morning, George. What's going on here? Just talking about Friday's game. Uh, the papers call it the Medford Miracle. Mm -hmm. No miracle, just good coaching. Let's not forget about those kids. I mean, they really played their hearts out. Yeah. I'm sorry, what are you doing here? I'm on the phone. Oh, sorry, baby. Uh, so you can hang up now. Your voice sounds funny. Are you coming down with a cold? No, I'm fine. This is my normal adult voice. I guess I just miss that sweet little boy voice. Mom! Well, it doesn't matter how old I am, Mr. Jennings, because I'm really, really smart. Oh, is this about his database thingy? He is so excited about that, I could barely get him to bed last night. Mom! So, once this is up and running, anyone with a computer and a modem can have access to every grant offered worldwide. And you can charge for access on both sides. Sounds like this could be very lucrative. It was clear. How soon do you think you could have a prototype? Well, working around my class schedule and a sensible bedtime, I think within a year. If we fund this, we'd expect you to work on it full time. We don't want someone else beating us to the punch. Good news. We found investors for the grant database. Oh, honey, that's great. And even more good news, you no longer have to drive me to school because I'm dropping out to work on it. What? No, you're not. But they won't fund the project unless I'm working on it full time. I don't care. You're finishing college. But you let him drop out. And look how his life turned out. Hey. Well, I'm sorry, Sheldon, but you're going to have to tell them no. I got a job and a cold garage to live in. Ugh. Mm. George, you don't mess with a winning streak. So as long as we're winning, I'm stuck with this guy? That's right. What if we lose? Then you're going to get murdered by a guy wearing a pink cowboy hat. Dad, I have a question for you. <sighs> Not a good time, Sheldon. Please, it's really important. Whatever it is, fine. Mom, Dad said I could drop out of college. What? George! Well, you could go back to the university. They were willing to fund it. No, they wanted to control the whole thing. I want somebody who will just give me the money, let me work on my own schedule, and not expect me to listen to their dumb ideas. I don't think rich people who give money like being told their ideas are dumb. This is fun. Not a lot of people I can talk to, scientist to scientist. You're just a rich man that no one will be honest to because everyone wants your money. What happened? He found my honesty delightful and gave the university a lot of money. Impressive. Thank you so much for bringing this opportunity to me. This is exciting. So will you give us the funding? Well, that's a lot of money, but my horoscope did say take a chance today. You're uh, making a big financial decision based on astrology? I know. I'm such a Gemini, right? This, this is what I really love. Now, just to be clear, we're looking for a financier, not a partner. Oh, yes, no, this is your baby. You guys are the parents, I'm just a wet nurse. I mean, I just want to be around the process. Anything you need, I'm your guy. But I'm still in charge, right? Did NASA fake the moon landing? No. See, that's what I thought until about a year ago. Oh, we're gonna have so much fun. 